Just recently, I had quite a few water heaters that had a tripped flammable vapor sensor. So I thought I'd make a video about this for anybody who's having that same problem. A lot of times it'll be a water heater with a power vent on top of it. The one that you have to plug into an outlet. And that flammable vapor sensor is usually going to be on the bottom of the water heater. On the very bottom underneath the burner and that burner tube that goes down into the burner chamber there. Just right on the bottom right here. And most of those water heaters, the gas valve will have some kind of LED light that will be blinking some kind of a code or it'll be just a solid code. A lot of times there will be a sticker somewhere on the water heater that explains what that code means. Or if you have the book from the water heater, the manual, you can try to look it up there. If you don't have neither, the sticker's missing and you don't have the book, then try to get the name of your gas valve or the brand. It'll be probably like a Robert Shaw or a Honeywell or a White Rogers. Or if there's no label on it, you can also just go by the brand of the water heater and just look it up on Google, you know, like Ream gas valve error codes. And most likely you'll be able to find that error diagnostic chart online. But anyway, why does that flammable vapor sensor even trip in the first place? Most of the time when I go to a house and that thing is tripped, it'll be because they are staining something, they're painting, they're using oil paints, there's some kind of a chemical in the air. Even if there's a lot of dust, if they're stirring something up, they're doing some kind of a remodeling, that can trip that flammable vapor sensor as well. And luckily, most of the time you can just reset it and it'll start working again. Uh, once in a long time, I will get a flammable vapor sensor where you try to reset it and that air code just pops right back out. In that case, you just need to replace that little thing. But most of the time, you can reset it. So let's begin. There's four different kinds of gas valves that go along with a flammable vapor sensor. The first one is a Ream water heater with a White Rogers gas valve. And if that gas valve is bringing up that FV code, the flammable vapor sensor code, what you have to do on all the gas valves actually, if they have a power vent, that inducer motor up on top of the water heater, disconnect the power to it, wait for 10 seconds and then plug it back in. And then if you just wait for like five seconds after that, press both of the arrows together and hold them down for five seconds until the green LED starts to blink. Usually it's gonna be the vacation light that blinks. And then at that point, you have to enter in a cheat code, almost like in a video game back in the day. And I constantly forget that cheat code myself, so I have to always look it up. But that code is left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. So in that succession, you would press those arrow keys to reset your flammable vapor sensor. If the code is reset, then all the LEDs will light up, which will signify that that code has been cleared out. And gas valve number two is an IntelliVent which also has two arrows. With this one, it'll be pretty similar. You just unplug the power, wait for 10 seconds, plug it back in, and then you press both arrows, left and right, together until that vacation light starts to blink. You let go, and then you press those two arrows together again. You wait for five seconds again, and that will reset the flammable vapor sensor code on that gas valve. And number three, if you have a Honeywell gas valve, this one's a little different. Once again, you will reset the power, wait for 10 seconds, plug it back in, and then you have 30 seconds to switch that temperature dial. It won't look like mine, but your temperature dial, you'll have to go all the way from the vacation setting or pilot lighting, all the way back to hot, very hot as far as it can go, and you have to go back and forth like that six times in 30 seconds. And that will reset that code on that gas valve. And number four, if you have a Robert Shaw gas valve, It'll be very similar to that Honeywell one. You unplug it, plug it back in, except with this one, you have to make sure that you give it at least five seconds after you plug it back in. It does like a little self check and then that code will come back up. After you plug it in, wait for five seconds, then you do that same thing. You go all the way from vacation to very hot, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, six times, and that'll clear out the code on that one. Well guys, and that is how you reset that sensor on all those gas valves. If you missed something, that's okay. I'll go ahead and put that in the description as well, those steps and on which gas valve, which steps are needed. And like I mentioned before, sometimes when you reset that code, it'll just bring that code right back up. You reset it, it brings it right back up. In that case, you just need to replace that sensor. It's beyond resetting. Something internally is wrong there. So keep that in mind, if you have a flammable vapor sensor on your water heater and you're going to be staining some floors or painting or doing something that will have a chemical smell in the air or if you have gasoline canisters on the other side of the room, that could trip that sensor because it is pretty sensitive. 
And that is all I had for today. If you have any more questions about that, let us know. Or if you know some other good pointers for other people about that flammable vapor sensor, you could let us know as well. By the way, just a side note, um, if somebody will get the bright idea that you can just try to bypass it and put the two wires from that flammable vapor sensor together just to bypass it, that's not gonna work. Most water heaters will detect that because there's supposed to be a load there. And if there's no load, it's almost like a direct short. So it'll detect that and it will still not work, so don't even try. But anyways, if you have some other suggestions, do let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out, and we'll see you next time. And if you're still here, let me share a comment with you that one of the viewers left in one of my videos. So I was reading that comment and it kind of caught me off guard. But anyways, this guy writes, a horse walks into a tavern and goes to the bar, sits down, bartender comes over and asks the horse, hey, why the long face?